Hello, son of God, and my brother. This is your awakening, and today's teaching is the gift of lilies. Look upon all the trinkets made to hang upon the body, made to hang upon the body, or to cover it or for its use. See all the useless things made for its eyes to see. <laughs> Look upon all the trinkets made to hug upon the body or to cover it for it or for its use. See all the useless things made for its eyes to see. Think on the many offerings made for its pleasure and remember and remember all they were made to make all these were made to make all these were made to make seem lovely what you hate would you employ this hated thing to draw your brother to you and to attract his body's eyes. Then you are offer him a crown of thorns, not recognizing it for what it is, and trying to justify your own interpretation of its value by his acceptance. Yet still the gift proclaims his worthlessness to you, as his acceptance and de delight acknowledges the lack of value he places on himself. Yet, still the gift proclaims his worthlessness to you as his acceptance and delight acknowledges the lack of value he places on himself. Gifts are not meant through bodies if they truly be given and received. For bodies can neither offer nor accept, hold out nor take. Only the mind can value and only the mind decides on what it would receive and give. And every gift it offers depends on, depends on what it wants and every gift it offers depends on what it wants. It will adorn its chosen home most carefully, making it ready to receive the gift it wants by offering them to those whom come unto its home, its chosen home, or those it would attract to it. And there they will exchange their gifts, offering and receiving what their minds judge to be worthy of them. Each gift is an evaluation of the receiver and the giver. No one but sees his chosen home as an altar to himself. No one but seeks to draw to it the worshippers of what he placed upon it, making it worthy, making it worthy of their devotion. And each has set a light upon his altar that they may see what he has placed upon it and take it for their own. Here is the value that you lay upon your brother and on yourself. Here is your gift to both. Your judgment on the Son of God for what he is. Forget not that it is your Savior to whom the gift is offered. Offer him thorns, and you are crucified. Offer him lilies, and it is yourself you set free. I have great need for lilies. I have great need for lilies. For the Son of God has not forgiven me. 
And can I offer him forgiveness when he offers, he offers thorns to me? For he who offers thorns to anyone is against me still, and who is whole without him? Be you his friend for me, that I may be forgiven, and you may look upon the Son of God as whole. But look you first upon the altar in your chosen home and see what you have laid upon it to offer me. If it be thorns whose points gleam sharply in a blood red light, the body is your chosen home and it is separation that you offer me. And yet the thorns are gone. Look you still closer at them now and you will see your altar is no longer what it was. You look still with the boy's eyes and they can see but thorns. Yet you have asked for and received another sight. Those who accept the Holy Spirit's purpose as their own say, so, say also his vision. And what enables him to see his purpose Sign forth from every altar now is yours as well as his. And what enables him to see his purpose? Signs, sign forth from every altar now is yours as well as his. He sees no strangers, only dearly loved and loving friends. He sees no thorns but only lilies gleaming in the gentle glow of peace that shines on everything he looks upon and loves. This Easter, look with different eyes upon your brother. You have forgiven me. And yet I cannot use, and yet I cannot use your gift of lilies while you see them not. Nor can you use what I have given unless you say it. The Holy Spirit's vision is no idle gift, no, no plaything to be tossed about a while and laid aside. Listen and hear this carefully. Nor think but a dream, a careless thought to play with, or a toy you will pick up from time to time and then put by. For if you do, so will it be for you. You have the vision now to look past all illusions. It has been given you to see no thorns, no strangers, and no obstacles to peace. The fear of God is nothing to you now. Who is afraid to look upon illusions, knowing his Savior stands beside him? Who is afraid to look upon illusions, knowing his Savior stands beside him? With him, your vision has become the greatest power for the undoing of illusion that God himself could give. For what God gave the Holy Spirit, you have received. The Son of God looks unto you for his release. For you have asked for and be given the strength to look upon this final obstacle and see no thorns nor nails to crucify the Son of God and count him King of Death. Yet, remember, your chosen home is on the other side. Your chosen home is on the other side, beyond the veil. It has been carefully prepared for you and it is ready to receive you now. You will not see it with the body's eyes. You'll see it with the Christ vision. Yet, yeah. yes, all you need you have. Your home has called to you since time began. Nor have you ever failed to hear entirely. Your heart, but knew not how to look nor where. And now you know. In you, the knowledge lies ready to be unveiled and freed from all the terror that kept it hidden. In you, the knowledge lies, ready to be unveiled 
and freed from all the terror that kept it hidden. There is no fear in love. The song of Easter is the glad friend, the son of God, was never crucified. Let us lift our eyes together, not in fear, but in faith. And there will be no fear in us, for in our vision will be no illusions, only a pathway to the open door of heaven, the home we say in quietness, and where we live in gentleness and peace as one together. Would you not have your holy brother lead you there? His innocence will light your way, offering you its guiding light and sure protection, and shining from the holy altar within him, where you led the lilies of forgiveness. We said before, to forgiveness, you go to my site, sonofchrist.com. You write forgiveness in the search bar, there are like 10 lessons now. Lay them all, that's the key, that's the only sane answer. That's the only sane answer. You have to lay the lilies of forgiveness to, to every brother, to the Son of God. Let him be to you the Savior from illusions. And look on him with the new vision that looks upon the lilies and brings you joy. We go beyond the veil of fear, lighting each other's way. The holiness that leads us is within us, as is our home. So will we find what we are meant to find by Him who leads us. This is the way to heaven and the peace of Easter, in which we join in glad awareness that the Son of God is risen from the past and has awakened to the present. Now is He free, unlimited, in his communication with all that is within him. Now are the lilies of his innocence untouched by guilt and perfectly protected from the culture of fear and with a lie of sin alive. Your gift of forgiveness, your gift has saved him from the thorns and nails and his strong arm is free to guide you safely through them and beyond. Walk with him now rejoicing, for the Savior from illusions has come to greet you and lead you home with him. Here is your Savior and your friend, released from crucifixion through your vision and free to lead you now where he would be. He will not leave you nor forsake the Savior in his pain and gladly Will you walk the way of innocence together, shining, sinking as you behold the open door of heaven and recognize the home that called to you? Give joyously to one another, give joyously to one another the freedom and the strength and the strength to lead you there and come before its other's holy altar where the strength and freedom wait to offer and receive the bright awareness that leads you home. You cannot remember God alone. This is what you forgot. This is what you forgot. Every brother, you ha there is a way of watching every brother that leads you closer to the awareness of God, the brand creator. That's the lesson that God wants you to learn. The lab is lit in both of you for one another. And by the hands that gave it to your brother, shall both of you be less past fear into love. Peace.